also rather appropriate that Nikola Jokic had to uh, wait to get drafted, given that he was famously or infamously drafted during a Taco Bell commercial. So there's that part. Um, hi, Natalie. How are you? You look wonderful. Good to see you again. Oh, thank you. I'm well. How are you doing, Michael? I'm great. Um, I want to talk to our audience right now. I'm going to talk about Natalie now. She's right, like she's not here right now. <laughs> see, y'all got Natalie effed up. All right. Because see, Natalie, you see her with this smile, this pleasant voice, <laughs> this calm demeanor. And y'all don't know uh, this New York Jamaican like I've come to know <laughs> this New York Jamaican uh, over the course of these last few months, right? So Natalie and I talk all the time, you know, and most of the time we're talking about like show business or what have you. Uh, every now and then, you know, it'll just evolve or devolve as the case may be into some kind of debate. And I've been debating for a long time, right? I think I'm pretty decent at it. I didn't know that I would meet my match in the form of this of this attorney, which makes sense that an attorney could out argue me. Um, and so one night, I don't know how we got on this topic. Because y'all have seen her lose her shit before. She lost it talking about Kevin Durant's shoe size. Th that was her coming out party on this show. So one night we talking. And we got to talking about my man, my guy, Nikola Jokic. This is how it all comes full circle. We're talking about Nikola Jokic. And we got to talk about him winning a third straight MVP. And I had to take out my AirPods and hold the phone over here. Because I'm like, what he, what, who hurt you? Like, what did he do to you? And seriously, watch this. So Natalie, back to you. Um, ESPN recently did a straw poll yep. of 100 MVP voters, and I believe the number is uh, 77, 77 out of 100 mm -hmm. uh, have Nikola Jokic as their front runner to win the Kia NBA MVP award. Yeah. Uh, and there's 23 games left, and so it doesn't seem like it's close at this point. No. So we are 23 games away from Nikola Jokic doing something that hasn't been done in nearly 40 years, last by Larry Bird, and the only other people to take home three regular season MVP awards are the aforementioned Larry Bird, Wilt Chamberlain, and Bill Russell, the dude whose name is now adorning the trophy. Never won three straight MVPs. Yeah. So with, so with that, Natalie, how do you feel about this? How does this make you feel? I mean, everyone knows how I feel. It's absurdity, you know? And let me just say for the record, Jokic is my guy too. Like, people may not believe that. This is why I hate when I feel strongly about something because the passion comes out of me and from that people draw, oh, she doesn't like him. So now I'm getting called all kinds of names, by the way, which is fine, not by you, but like I'm just saying Twitter really? people. Oh wait, hold on, all jokes aside, really? Of course, because anytime you say something that people a don't woman. agree, yes, or a woman, you know, and you're a black a, woman, yes, in your opinion, opinion. in yes. sports, I'm, no, I know, you know what, I'm messing with you, but I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't know they got that serious. See, I told you, no, I'm not it's, media. it's I didn't know okay. They got that serious, uh, okay. And no, it's, it's, but when I say it's okay, it's, it's just unfortunately what comes with the territory. So I have yeah. ways to like ignore that and you know not yeah. have it re reach me, but. You know, I feel strongly about it. And there's other things I felt strongly about where I personally am against, but maybe I defend a position because that's the lawyer in me. I'm able to defend a position even if I don't necessarily support it. And people are like, oh, you know, <laughs> they call you, they call your names, whatever the case may be. So I actually really am a fan of Jokic. And it's so funny because I, I turn people into Jokic fans. When people were trying to tell me 80 was still better than Jokic, I was like, you guys are crazy, right? But it's just, I don't, you know, if you just look at, the MVP ward on an individual season basis, of course, he has a strong argument every year, as do several other players, right? But there becomes a time, and some don't agree with this, so I guess it's the philosophy on how you view the MVP. But you, you start to look at it collectively over time in terms of when someone starts to receive multiple or they're receiving back-to-back. -back. And I personally find it to be an issue that Jokic will be receiving his third MVP, most likely, and I, and I knew he would be leading the race. I was a little shocked when I saw the straw poll because that straw poll indicated that he's clear 
Like that, that he's clear of everyone. Right. And head I, and shoulders. <laughs> and I didn't expect that. That was a bit much to me. But in general, to to win three MVPs in a row to me tells a story. Like if a historian is looking back on this and looking at history, that to me is telling a story that he dominated the league during these three years. He was head and shoulders above all the other players. And I mean, that's just not the case. It's just not the case. It's incorrect. So, and there's also whether. Is it though? It is. It's not correct. So here's the thing. Having the best advanced metrics, and I'm a fan of, of analytics, so let's make that clear. I don't dislike them. But having the best analytics, the advanced at best advanced metrics doesn't mean that you were the most valuable. And in the prior two years when he won his award, a large part of the underlying argument, his play on the court was phenomenal. He's a phenomenal player. But a large part of the narrative, the argument was about how much he was doing when you look at his teammates. He dragged yeah, them, he less. did this, he did that. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. in my opinion, that penalizes the players who have better teammates because it suggests that he's doing more than them. But if you take any of those guys, Embiid, Tatum, right, whoever, right, if you take them right. off their teams, how much better are they going to do? Newsflash, you do not do well without your best player. So it penalizes yeah. those guys. Now, this season, he has his teammates. And they're like, yeah, look at, look at what he's doing. And let's award him another one. So they penalize the guys before who had the help and said, you can't get it because he's doing more with less. Now he has the help and they're still like, okay, we're gonna give it to you. And it is a departure for whatever reason, it is a departure from the way the media has treated other players who have won consecutive MVPs. And I just think it's odd. So the last person to have a chance to do this was Giannis and he didn't win a third. Um, I hear you. And first LeBron. Of all, I not appreciate well, right, but I'm saying just the last Oh, the very person, last person, yep. The very, the very last person that was back to back going for a third. And obviously they didn't do it. But LeBron had, I think, two opportunities to go three for three, uh, as did Jordan, if, if, if my memory serves. First of all, I just want to say I do not appreciate you putting on your courtroom uh, voice here. <laughs> and because that's not how you said it on the phone. <laughs> well, we that's were robbed up that day you said it to me. We were robbed up that you day. And you're not telling them the full story because you were like, no, that's not correct. That's not what was in the past. And I was like, no, it's absolutely like, this all, is what happened. I don't talk like that. First I'm just saying like okay. I'm, I'm paraphrasing <laughs> you. <laughs> you may have not said it like that, but you were like telling me like, no, 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 this is not right. And I just strongly disagree no, with you, you in were, that conversation. No, because you were suggesting that we rewrote rules around Russell Westbrook. Mm -hmm. Say that three times fast. You were suggesting that we rewrote rules around Russell Westbrook that, oh, he was the first person to have this more with less argument. No, the more with less argument has been around since the beginning of time. But, but you make a good point about penalizing other great players just because their organizations put better teams around them or they have better health uh, fortune or didn't have the same uh, health misfortune or what have you. So that's a, that's a sound argument and you make a lot of solid points. I guess where my issue with it is, is I don't know that it's the regular season MVP and this is what we were, we were talking about. Like if you want to give it to the person who is the the unofficial or the recognized best player, then three four dudes would have won it throughout NBA history for the most part. You know what I'm saying? It'd have been a, it'd have been a lot of LeBron and been a lot of Jordan and a lot of Kareem it a lot more. I should say uh, a lot of will a lot of Russell bird magic. Maybe they just split it. I don't know, but Nobody else would win it if it were about the person standing at the end of the season with the trophy or trophies that matter, right? I don't know that you could look at somebody with the number one record in the Western Conference that's averaging a triple double from the center position and say, oh, uh, he can't win the award this year because you can't give him three straight. I don't care about the last two. Who's the MVP in 2022-23? And if it happens to be the same dude that was MVP in 2021-22 and 2021, so be it. Nobody's giving Nikola Jokic anything. He is taking it. And it's so funny. I feel like you're and talking about dying on that MVP hill. You're talking about dying on that MVP hill. I feel like I've been beating this drum for the last three years. We've been trying to see I, you and I must roll in different circles. Because whereas you think people are, are breaking their back and bending over backwards they are. to give, 
I think every year people try not to give this dude the award. They do. They do. That's the thing. This is a very multi-layer topic because I even think, if I remember correctly, that I made a comment on this show. This is like before I was even working here that like part of the the push against him is because he's white. Like that's a part of it and, and international. So I it's in those. Are we still on that? Are we really not still on that? not now? But some of the some of the anti him is a part of that. And so in his first within his first MVP case, right? I do think there was a lot of that. And then the second one, I think people got more comfortable. But I actually didn't think that he should have won last year. And this year, I also don't think that he's clear of everyone. So the way that everyone speaks and makes this argument, like it's just him, the Celtics have had the best record in the NBA, not just their conference, in the NBA for the whole season. Jason Tatum is not even in the top three. He finished fourth with like a couple of votes. You know, and then it's like what are Giannis and 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 um, Embiid having pedestrian seasons? They are or, not. Or Luca, for that matter. Yeah, okay. like the way so the way so, these so, cases so are being made. Here. Yes, the there's way these here. exact, and yeah. that's why I'm saying it's they have decided. First of all, in my opinion, the media picks a narrative pretty early that they like. I do. That, Who's that, they? Who is they? You the, can't say they no more. People, we, people, we. we well, we. yes, I am. No, 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 we. You, yeah, voters. No, now. You let me say voters. Vo- MVP the voters. Media. I am not I a know, voter. You're one of us. I am not a but voter. You're one of us now. Okay. You're one of us. But I'm not a voter. Yeah. <laughs> and MP- <Okay>. MVP <laughs> voters, they love the rush triple double thing, and they love the idea of like someone it getting three in a row. Since Oscar. What okay, you, man? but like, that was but that was also a departure, whether you want to agree or not. Okay, it was a departure. What was a departure? It was when Russ won that it was a departure from typically a person winning MVP on a higher seeded team. I am not yeah, the only one like who six. says this. Yes, and not even winning 50 yeah. games. That was a departure. And so when we were talking about the Russ thing that the night dude on the phone, average a triple double. I, I don't care because that like there were also. And, and I know that's nothing now, but then I mean, come on. I don't care because they were caught up in that <laughs> versus the other great players who were MVP candidates who were not a departure. It became about the triple double. Just like right now, it feels like they're like, yeah. Yeah, we like this idea of someone getting three in a row, so they're gonna make the case that? fit around who them. Who, no who, one, who sa- no one like says that. Idea. No, so, I'm not saying. So by the way, but I'm not saying that go. he's there not qualified. There we go. There we go. I'm yep. not yep. saying because it, it sounds go. like I'm saying he's not deserving. If you just look at no, his no, season, no, of course he is deserving. <laughs> but, but oh, wait, okay, we got they you. We also love. They love that it would be a third time MVP, and it hasn't been done in a while. And I feel like I somebody write this. But I Has feel like this? they're not oh, going to feel this way. I talk just to people. This? No, I'm not guessing. Who, I'm oh, not oh, guessing. You got sources. And okay, who, do you, and, who do you talk to that would like and, to give them a third MVP because they feel like it because they're no, nice. I'm not saying who, they just feel like it. I'm saying like that's the narrative that appeals to most. <laughs> but of course, he has the season and the stats to back it up. Like he's oh, an incredible oh, player. He only has the season yeah, so the I'm not. Right. <laughs> Listen, you can do that all you want, but it is a legitimate thing, and you're not going to make me out to be a crazy person because it no, is. No, I just want you to go crazy. It's a regular topic. <laughs> it is a thing, and you know, like salute to, to Jokic, but I think it's personally crazy whether you think we should factor in postseason or not for someone to be getting his potentially third MVP and does not yet have a finals appearance. And maybe he will. Maybe this will be the change, but I don't think it will be. So we'll see. Well, first of all, I'm just enjoying getting under your skin and a little bit of the New York is coming out little by little. So I don't even really I I mean, I, I, I look, I got a horse. I have a horse in this, but I don't have a dog in this fight, but I'm just enjoying trolling you. Why? Um, Why is this a thing? But, but, but wait a second. But no, but like then you bring in a postseason. First of all, I, okay, I don't I have a hard time believing and if you've talked to MVP voters and they've said to you, you know what? I like the idea of a third straight. I like somebody making history. This is a good story. I'm going to vote for this story or this narrative as we want to call it. Then that's fair. I'm I'm not going to question your sources. I find it hard to believe though that the people who are voting for this MVP award are voting with the last two years in mind. I think if they're voting for Nikola Jokic, They're voting for it for him because it is undeniable. And in fact, I would venture to say that the that him winning a third straight 
because the, the phrase we have yet to bring up in this entire conversation, which always comes up is voter fatigue. I would venture to say that the last two work more against his candidacy than they do for him. I would say that there are more people that are tired of seeing him be an MVP than people who want to see him win three straight. As clearly, to, clearly not. And that I'm glad he's you, just I'm, that great. No, I'm glad you brought that up. No, like he is that great, but he's not that greater than all the other candidates. I feel like the story and making that history is making them overlook the other quality candidates in the race. That's what I'm saying. And so who's your MVP? Tatum? And, and hold on, hold on, hold on. One more thing I just want to point out because you made an excellent yeah. point where you say, you know, the voter fatigue. At the beginning of past seasons, like with, with Giannis, the last one, we heard voters, people go on TV, and it, we just knew that he was not getting that third MVP because they had the voter fatigue. And they, it was sort of set at the outset of the season. And when I say Jokic is being treated differently, it's because of that, because we didn't hear those same kind of things we heard with LeBron, with Jokic, with Steph, when Kevin Durant joined. It was like, oh, no, no, no. You can't get a third because this reason. It was set at the beginning of the season. With him, that wasn't set. And then he just had the open lane to get a third MVP. So when I say he's being treated differently, those are the things that I mean by he's being treated differently than past candidates. And yes, there were people who would go on TV and say things like that. You're not going to get me to call out names right here like that now. No, I'm not looking have. for names. Yeah. I'm not looking for names. And uh, listen, I told you, you got to guard your ear gates and eye gates from stupidity, although we may address some of it later on in the show. Uh, but no, it's like I don't I, I guess I just maybe I'm, I'm not in these Twitter streets the way you are Maybe I'm not listening to certain people because I don't not really just care Twitter. I'm talking about media and voters as well Well, I mean but media and voters are on Twitter as well. Yeah, I, I don't mean I'm, I, I'm saying not just okay. NBA Twitter But just yeah. basketball community in general that I know you're entrenched in I'm saying I like if somebody says something that makes it feels like there's a double standard at play or there's different rules at play for Nikola Jokic I don't I think you know what I think it is. I think he's got incredible stats on the best team in the Western Conference and a lot of people have been hurt this year. Your man Steph Kevin Durant a lot of people have missed quite a bit of time who otherwise would have would have potentially challenged him. But like I was asking you a second ago and I get the nuance. I get the overall nuance all jokes aside all trolling aside. I get the overall nuance of your point, which is that he's deserving but it, he's not so deserving that he's far and away the runaway favorite versus everybody else in the league. That's where right. your frustration comes in, along with what you perceive to be a different set of standards being set for this two-time MVP as opposed to others. I disagree, but I hear your point. Having said all that, if you were voting right now, who are you voting for? And you better not say Jokic. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. But okay. like, to me, and I've already said earlier on the show that like Tatum to me, Tatum? in the beginning of the season would have been the front runner. But I do think like Giannis, well, Giannis just got hurt, but we'll see. But I do think that Giannis has come on like a sh really strong in the second part of the season and Embiid. And like to me, I would just need to watch the season play out a little bit more. But any one of those three probably would be the person getting player getting my vote. All right. So before before we wrap this up, like and maybe this is the conversation we should save so we don't go too much longer here. But like just the postseason thing. I don't care whether or not he sniffed the NBA Finals. Okay. This ain't a playoff award. But, but, but Natalie, okay, you can care <laughs> about it, but what I have a problem with, okay, here's what I have a problem. I'm going to give you a vote for purposes of this conversation. Okay. Here's what I have a problem with, a, a mythical vote. My problem is that you think the postseason should matter. It doesn't, and now you want to apply that standard to the application of this vote. No, I like, think the postseason saying, has always mattered. You don't think that it has, and I'm saying it has. To who? To whom? Voters? Yes. You can't project the postseason. You can't make, they a, you do, can't make and a they determination have. about the when, for example, when? You mentioned Russ. For example, when? When if when have they given an award there to are somebody voters in the regular who, season there are based voters, on what they think they're gonna do in the There postseason? are voters who have said that they do not vote for players, do not have a likelihood to, to contend, who have won less than fifty games. That's not even someone that they would consider. 
And then even like, you know what? Dirk is a really great example in the past. Like when he had won that when MVP. He lost to the Warriors when he, right. In the first round? Yes. Yeah. And then he lost. And then that post conference was later. It was a very awkward thing because part of the reason in that post conference, the comp, like the, the awarding of him winning the award, part of the reason why it was later in the postseason is because inherent, there's an expectation that the MVP is going to be playing deeper in the postseason. Well, Giannis, Giannis got his first one from Greece, did he not? What, if I recall, I, I think yes, it was. Yes, and that, was part, and that was part of the reason why people were like, we're not giving him a third MVP because he did two years, got MVPs, and he was out of the postseason very early. It's inherent. Whether they do it on the front end or the back end, people take it into consideration, Mike. I'm telling you. They do. Well, if they actually if they actually do, they should be stripped of their vote. It's a regular <laughs> season award. And it's a regular season award. And there's a difference. Now, maybe we're saying the same thing, but differently. There's a difference between a top two, maybe three seed in your conference and what you think they're going to do in the postseason. That's two different things. Okay. Now, no, usually those things go hand in hand. So if you're saying somebody that's a, that, that's one fewer than 50 games, that's a sixth, seventh, or eighth seed, or even a fifth seed, that's not a top four seed, should not be an MVP consideration. That has traditionally been the benchmark. Yes. But what? But the but the way that you're saying it is, well, he ain't gonna do shit in the postseason, so I'm not giving him the MVP for the regular season. That don't feel right to me. Okay. That doesn't feel right. Like it, it's like if you want to be a postseason award, then. Let it be a let it be an all encompassing award. This is a like debate I said. every year, like and in it, terms of regular guess, season, postseason. But nowhere. Okay. It goes nowhere because it's a regular season award, and we got to live with that. And this regular season, Jokic, his team has the best record in the West. In the so West. So you were gonna deny in the West? Yeah, exactly. And, and the numbers. So there. So there's a stronger argument this year than there even was in previous this years. This year makes him. the most sense of his three, but I supported the first, and I support this one. I did not support last year. Okay. Okay. Well, way to keep your composure. I expected, a, <laughs> I expected another no. F bomb from you. I was no. I, was, I, I had a I had a, si- I had a side bet that it was gonna be an F bomb. We can go to break. Um, I, had a, I had a side bet there was gonna be an F bomb out of this. I was no. like, no. You think she? You think she lost no. it about Kevin Durant's shoe size? <laughs> Wait till we talk about this no. Serbian. I was prepared. You know? I prepared for you today. I saw your feed. I knew what you was trying to yeah. do. You be got you be, you got these people fooled. You got you, got, you be cold switching. You got the you got the corporate voice, corporate presentation. Then you come on you come online cussing and whatnot. Hey, thank you for watching, brother from another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on SiriusXM channel eighty five.